We're all the same. Why? Because we follow. We listen to society's stupid rules and follow them. We follow our peers and our teachers. We all seem the same, but we're not. There's a fire that is burning deep within us that we all know is there, but we're forced to keep it hidden. We want to be our own person, to think for ourselves, and to step outside of our society's confinement. But it doesn't work like that. Our dragon side can never be seen. We must tame it, keep it suppressed, for fear of what would happen if it's ever unleashed. But today, I'm going to show you how you can unleash your dragon. So after already putting in my contacts, I'm going to begin this makeup tutorial by priming my face and then I'm adding some foundation and blending that in all over my skin. So after that's blended in, I'm taking the NYX White Eyeshadow Base and I'm applying that all over my lids up to my brow and underneath my eyes as well. Next, actually using a glue stick, I'm going to be using this to glue down my eyebrows so that they don't get in the way with the makeup. And this is a kind of weird process, but I promise it works and it's so helpful. Next, I'm using that White Eyeshadow Primer again and I'm applying that on my eyebrow and above, just kind of faded to the top of my forehead and I'm dragging it a little bit more around the edges of my face and down my cheek a little bit more. So basically you'll have a lot of your face being white. <laughs> and then to conceal your eyebrows even more, I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumble Eye Pencil in Milk and using that on my eyebrows to just kind of make them blend in with my skin. Next I'm taking a red eyeshadow to the crease of my eyelids and kind of winging it out a little bit to the edge of my eyebrow. Then I'm blending that in with an orange shadow and concentrating that more on the center of my lids. And finally I'm blending in a yellow eyeshadow and I'm using that kind of all around the edges just to lighten up the whole look and add a little bit more of an orangey tint to it. And then just make sure everything is blended in and we can move on to the next step. So now I'm using a black liquid eyeliner and I'm just tracing my top lash line to create a wing. And I'm following the line that I made with the red eyeshadow and kind of winging it out a little bit beneath my eyebrows. I'm also creating a wing on the inner part of my eye and kind of going down towards the direction of my nose. Next, I'm applying mascara to both my top and bottom lashes, and then I'm going to be applying some falsies. And you can't forget to wait to let it get a little tacky and then stick it on your lash line. And then I'm blending that in by applying a little bit more mascara to my top lashes. Moving on, we're going to fix this no eyebrow problem. So using a blue NYX liquid eyeliner, I'm going to be following the line of my wing and also kind of following the line of my eyebrow and create a line just kind of beneath my eyebrow and winging it out. And if you don't get it perfect the first time, you can kind of keep going over it and fixing it to the shape that you want and then you're just going to want to thicken the line a little bit and then we can move on to our forehead. So I'm going to be taking a red eyeshadow and use that just above my eyebrows and blend it out to the top of my forehead and then taking a yellow eyeshadow, I'm going to be blending that on top just to fade it out a little bit better. Then using a NYX green gel eyeliner, I'm going to be applying that on top of the blue line that we made and just kind of blending that in with the blue and then I'm going to be feathering it upwards into the red and orange blended part that we have on our forehead and I'm just kind of using light strokes and brushing it upwards as you can see. Then going back in with the blue again I'm just making this line a little bit more harsh and dramatic and I'm also feathering the blue up into my forehead like I did with the green. And I'm also using the black to shade along the bottom of the wing just to make it a little bit more dramatic. But make sure you fade the black into the blue so there's no harsh lines and I'm just kind of outlining a few of the strokes that I did before and this just kind of adds a little bit of dimension. Then I'm adding a few other colors of eyeshadow like a lighter green and a darker blue, a brighter orange, and a white. So once you're done with that, you should have a whole kind of feathered look at the top of your forehead which looks really cool. Moving on to below the eye, I'm going to be taking the same blue liquid eyeliner and using it to draw wings following the black winged liner that I did before. I'm also using the blue eyeliner to trace the black wing that I made and I'm connecting it with the design on my forehead and then I'm continuing that to below my eye and trace it out to the end of my nose to connect with the black line that we made earlier. Then I'm going back over the other wings and really just 
just thickening them up and touching them to make them all look smooth and put together. Then taking a dark blue shadow, I'm using that to shade below my eye and I'm really concentrating it below each of the blue wings. And then next I'm using a green eyeshadow and I'm just kind of blending that in with the blue. Following that, I'm using a little bit of yellow. Now taking a NYX white liquid eyeliner, I'm going to be lining my waterline. You could also use a NYX jumbo eye pencil because that works as well, but I just like the look of the liquid liner, so I'm going to be lining my waterline and also my lash line. And then I'm going to be using this eyeliner to paint over my eyelashes to make them white and stand out. And I'm going to be tracing kind of between the blue and black eyeliner to follow the line on my nose. Moving on, we're going to be filling in that triangular section that we just kind of left blank on the side of our eye between the two wings. And I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow to fill this in from the bottom and then just kind of fade it upwards. And I'm also using this black eyeshadow to give a little bit of depth and dimension to the other wings that I did on my cheeks. And I'm dragging that up to below my eye and the edges of my nose as well. Then kind of following the steps that we did on our forehead, I'm going to be taking a few other colors and creating small brush strokes using the other colors of eyeshadow. And then on top of all that, I'm using another yellow to blend everything together. Now finally moving on to the contour, I'm going to be taking this red-orange eyeshadow just below my cheekbones and also kind of in a triangle form at the top of my forehead. And make sure to really blend blend all of this out. I also used a yellow around the red orange to blend it into my skin tone. And then I used a blue on my cupid's bow and blended that out as well. Now bear with me, this part's a little weird. I'm going to be taking a hairnet and putting it around my face. And you have to really stretch it so that you can see the crisscross pattern. And then using a NYX roll on shimmer, I'm going to be applying that on top of my hairnet. And this will just create the kind of scaly effect of a dragon. So you're going to want to add kind of a lot of this and really blend it into your skin. Because then when you take off your hairnet, you can see it leaves this really cool sparkly scaly effect. Next, with a NYX white eyeliner, I'm going to be adding some detail. So on the edge of my eyebrow, I'm just going to be creating a little series of dots with the white eyeliner. I also made another line of dots from the inner corner of my eye out towards my nose. Again, starting with the biggest and then them getting smaller. Now using the white eyeliner again, I'm going to be tracing underneath the blue wing that I did earlier and using a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm going to be using that to blend with the black that I put in earlier. Finally, moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking a green gel eyeliner and coloring my lips with that. And then just on the outer edges, I'm going to be taking a purple eyeliner to darken them up. And I'm concentrating this really on the corners of my lips and along the edges and kind of creating an ombre with it. I'm also using a black shadow to add even more dimension. And then on the center of my lips, I'm applying an orange and a yellow. And then I'm also applying the shimmer that I applied to my face earlier and Finally, the face is done, and if you want to move on and do a little bit of your chest, I'm just going to show you how I did that. So I'm using a red eyeshadow to contour my chest and neck. So I'm kind of going around all the areas that go in. And then for the areas that stick out, like the middle of my neck and my collarbones, I'm going to be using a yellow and a green. And then I'm also using a blue to kind of go between the green and the red. So then using the same blue eyeliner, I'm going to be creating kind of wave like strokes just below my collarbones and kind of coming from the center of my chest. Then I'm adding some green gel eyeliner to that and then I'm also adding some white and this is kind of like the same method that we did before. You can kind of add whatever colors you want to add dimension and texture to the look. Then using eyelash glue, I'm creating four dots in the center of my chest and gluing on four little jewels. And using the white liquid liner, I'm going to be creating another series of dots on my collarbones and a few at the bottom of my neck. And finally, in the center of it all, I'm going to be just creating a little star. And lastly, I'm just applying that shimmer kind of all over my neck, but focusing on the high points of it. And finally, your look is completed and your dragon is officially unleashed. Although society wants us to be the same, we're not all the same. We all have different styles, hobbies, and personalities. Sometimes it's important to step outside of society's image of perfection and show who you are on the inside. 
Now that your dragon has been released, you will feel confident in your own skin and be comfortable being you. So go ahead, let your dragon fly.